Hi, my name is Sarah. I am an English teacher and language anxiety coach. In this video, I'm going to share a story with you. It's not really a true story. I don't think it's a true story. Um, but it's a story that explains why it's so important that we prioritise the things that actually really matter to us, whatever those things are. So once there was a professor and um, the professor was teaching a lesson and on her desk at the front of the classroom she had a big glass jar and the jar was empty and she also had three little bags in one bag she had sand in another bag she had small stones and in the third bag she had big stones. So the professor invited one of her students to come to the front of the class and put the sand into the jar. So the student got the sand, put it into the jar and went and sat down. And then the professor invited another student to come to the front of the class and said to this student, okay, I want you to put some of these middle-sized stones into the jar. And the student kind of, because the jar was full of sand, it was quite difficult to get some stones in, but they pushed some sand down and they managed to get a couple of middle-sized stones in there. And then the student went to sit down. And then the teacher, the lecturer said, okay, one more person. So she invited one more student come to the front of the classroom and she said to the student okay I want you to put some big stones into this jar and the student just couldn't get any big stones in the jar because the jar was full of sand and middle sized stones so the student gave up and went to sit down and the teacher took the stones out of the jar and then she tipped out the sand and then she said this to her students. The sand is like all those little tiny things you have to do every day in your life. Washing the dishes, cleaning the flat, checking your emails, going onto social media, watching videos like this, going to the supermarket, all those things that have to be done to live, but which are kind of not really that important. The big stones, those are the things that really, really matter to us. So that could be family, friends, your hobbies, writing a book, learning a language, learning how to paint pictures, I don't know, whatever it is, but it's those things that really matter to you. And the middle sized stones are everything else that's kind of in the middle. It's more important than washing the dishes, but maybe not quite as important to you as learning to write a novel. Okay, so we've got the sand, which is the day to day stuff we have to do, but it's not important. We've got the big stones, which are important, and the middle sized stones, which are in between. And the teacher, she put all the big stones into the jar. So she filled up the jar with big stones and she said, this is your life when you fill it with important things. And then she got the middle sized stones and she put them in the jar and because there's always space around big stones, the middle stones could fit. And then she got the sand and she put the sand into the jar and because there was enough space between the big stones and the middle stones, the sand could fit too. So there's a lesson here, and I think it's a really good lesson for all of us. When we fill up our lives with small things that don't really matter, um, and you know, this will depend on you, what, what matters is different from person to person, but for me, that's things like checking my email, watching TV, following stuff on social media, following the news in great detail, um, 
you know, cleaning my house, you know, those things, they, I do care a little bit, but I don't care that much. If I do too much time, if I spend too much time on those things, I have no time for anything else. You know, and being someone who runs a business, I could spend two hours a day checking my emails. I have four email accounts. It's not worth it. It's not important. I don't have a perfect inbox. And to be honest, I don't care. It's not that important to me. I don't want to waste two hours a day on email. So I try and fill up my life, like in the story, with the big stuff. I try and make sure that I do the things that really matter to me first. And that could be things for my business, but it's also things that matter to me. Exercise, time with my family, walking my dog, getting outside on a beautiful day like today. I could be home in front of my laptop, but it's, it's more important to me to be outside and to be here. So we need to make sure that we are filling up our lives with the things that really matter to us. Because the, the less important things will always find a space. You will always have time to check your email, trust me. You will always have time to go to the supermarket or clean your house or write to your auntie or whatever it is. But when we prioritize those big tasks, those important things, we can fit all the small things around those and then everything gets done. When we try and fill our lives up with the small stuff, we struggle to leave space for the big stuff. So I'm not saying, I am not saying that your big stuff must be learning English or should be learning English. It might be, but it might not be. And that's okay because what's important is different for everyone. So have a think, what's, what's the big stuff? What, what do you want to fill up your life with? Is it really checking email or is it more likely to be, I don't know, learning how to paint pictures of flowers or something? It doesn't matter, but make sure those important things have time and space and all the little stuff will fit in around it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.